In today's video, we're checking out the latest version of the Vola Vasti in this beautiful surf green. I've had a chance to review a few of these over the years, and this one definitely has a few upgrades and more modern appointments for people looking for something other than a traditional Telecaster. Before we get into it, a massive thanks to the guys from Vola for sending this out. I really appreciate it. If you want to find out more about this guitar, links will be below. I'll timestamp everything in the description. We'll cover some of the specs in just a moment. Let's take a listen. Here's the guitar up close. Now the first thing I loved about this when I picked it up was just how light it was. Before shooting this video, I've actually taken this out and played it live now a couple of times. I did a full two hour gig with this and it played and sounded great. So I would have no hesitations recommending this for someone who's looking for a guitar that won't break your back. When it comes to the pickups, we get a traditional style tally neck pickup and these are Vola's very own in-house pickups as well, which is great. When we swap over to the bridge pickup here using the three-way toggle switch, with the volume control in the down position, it's very reminiscent to the output of a regular Tally bridge pickup, which is great. When we click this up, we're getting boost mode. So this is the volume control, that's the tone control. With this up, we're getting the mini humbucker sound. So it really fattens out the sound and gives it a heck of a lot more girth. Really great for doing solo stuff. Now there's definitely some upgrades on this over the prior ones that I reviewed and some changes as well. So this may or may not be right for you depending on your particular needs. But one of the welcome to upgrades here is the locking tuners. These are Goto and they work really, really well. Along with the Goto locking tuners, we get a nickel Goto 510T FE1 bridge. One of the biggest differences between this and the prior Vola that I reviewed is we now get a satin neck finish on this modern C-shaped neck. So the neck is quite thin. So this is aimed at more of a modern player, minus the aesthetic of the seafoam green. But overall, being that it's a lightweight piece of ash body, with all of these really cool features, I can see this appealing to a lot of different people. The scale length on this guitar is listed at 25.5 inches. We get 22 frets, and they're actually quite big as well, which is great. And we get a 12 inch fretboard radius with these beautiful block inlays. While this guitar does have quite a thin neck, Vola also make a range of guitars with much fatter necks. So check them all out on their website. Links to that will be in the description below. All right, let's kick it off. In today's video, I'm plugged into my Fender Blues Deluxe for Issue Amplifier. We're gonna start with some clean tones on the neck pickup. Now, I'm gonna play both soft and hard in some of these parts so you can see how it responds with different dynamics. Here we go, neck pickup. Beautiful. Now over to both pickups. I've got the push-pull pot in the down position. So this is like a traditional Telecaster bridge pickup in this position. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful. Now, let's go ahead and play some of that sort of country stuff that I do, finger style. Same position. Now, with the bridge pickup in the dual rail mode. So you still get all the twang, but you just get a little bit more output. Cool. Let's try bridge pickup now. Here we go. And now with the pot in the up position, this should get louder. Man, what a difference. That's cool. Let's go for some nice bluesy tones now. I'm using the right hand side of the Royal Flush Dual Overdrive pedal. This is the lower gain of the two sides. Neck pick up with the volume not all the way up and I'm going to switch between the positions and so forth. Here we go. Volume all the way up. Right, over to both. And over to bridge. Volume down. And now with the push-pull in the up position, take a listen to the difference. <laughs> yeah, all right. And now we're gonna try some higher gain tones and I've broken out the Shelly Odie, which is an overdrive pedal based on a Tube Screamer, but not like a Tube Screamer. It's got so much more under the hood and I've currently got it set to bass boost mode Check out the gain structure on this, it sounds pretty great. I've also added some delay thanks to the Tillet, which is going through the send return on the back of the Blues Deluxe. Bridge pickup with the volume all the way up. Push pull up. Over to both pickups. And now let's try that without the bass increase on the pedal. And over the neck. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. A massive thanks again goes out to Vola for sending this out for the review, I really appreciate it. Just so you know, this review isn't straight out of the box to YouTube. I've actually played this live and there'll be a clip coming up about that in the very near future. So subscribe, click the bell, all that kind of stuff if you wanna find out about that video. Now, when it comes down to it, should you get one of these guitars and what are some of the considerations regarding it? So build quality, fantastic. Made in Japan, there's nothing to complain about in terms of build quality. The neck feels really nice. The satin finish is awesome. 
We get the great Goto locking tuners and the Goto bridge. The pickups sound great and it looks super cool, but the shape is definitely different and it might not be for everybody. So if you're looking for something modern though, this would make a whole lot of sense. You know, there's only so many of the same old guitars you can see and I'm so used to looking at this now, I don't think twice about it. It's nice and comfortable on the leg as well as when you stand up and play. How light this is, is a huge advantage to playing live. So if you're a live player and you want something light, I've done about a two, probably two hour gig with this already. And I've had no problems playing it standing up for extended periods of time. So it gets the big thumbs up there. I only have one sort of nitpick with this guitar and that's that the bridge pickup is up quite high. If I do any kind of percussive stuff, I'm forever knocking the string into the top side of the pickup. Now I can lower that, that's not really a huge thing, but it's just worth mentioning out of the box, the bridge pickup is just way too high. Everything else though has been set up great. I haven't adjusted the action. The tuners have worked. <laughs> I've left the same strings on here since it came out of the box and I've played it live and it delivered. The sustain is great as well as you heard at the end of that intro track. So the only consideration from someone who might wanna buy this potentially is just make sure you're happy with a modern C or a thinner neck. This has a very fast feel to it and it does feel really nice in the hand, but it's very different to a vintage style neck. Tone-wise, you can get just about everything out of this Volovasti. I love bridge pickup and I love bridge pickup with the boost on it, it sounds great. I also love the fact that there's no batteries or anything. It's just a passive pickup that you don't have to worry about. You don't have to plug a USB in there or anything. It just works. So yeah, you can get traditional Telecaster tones or something a whole lot hotter. Thanks again for watching. If you want to check it out, links will be below. Catch you soon. See ya.